I grew up in the country, small town eastern Ontario. My bus ride to school was long. Driven along potholed gravel roads, my body jarred against the padded vinyl seat. But I was a reader. Because I had my books, I could go anywhere. I could be anything. The PBS rabbit ears promised me. I could be turtle, a surly, shin-kicking smarty pants with a bright future. I could be Nora, the brave World War II evacuee. Sometimes, even though I knew I didn't have a perfect size six figure, I thought I could maybe even be Elizabeth Wakefield, partly because we have the same name, but also because I was clearly too smart to be Jessica. What I couldn't be was this, not pretty, unpopular, frizzy hair, crooked teeth, bad clothes, too big. In my search to really become something else, I had found this book in the psychology section of the school library. I read it on the bus. A winter day in 1998, I had gotten up too late for breakfast, as usual, so mom had given me a toasted, buttered bagel, packed in a rinsed-out milk bag, to eat on the way to school. I read as I ate. I could feel the butter from my fingers soaking into the dry pages. Friends to know and ways to shrink. Could this save me? Halfway down 72nd Street, Kessa realized she had trapped herself. Maybe this could? Fleeing the nightmare of food that filled the park and lined Central Park West, she had turned onto this thoroughfare of bakeries and delis pizza stands and ice cream parlors, and small groceries smelling of barbecued chickens. A piece of barbecued chicken, 210 calories. She was walking faster now, almost running. The smells were coming fast one after another, and Kessa was calculating. Could she have this? No, a bagel was too much. How about that? A child's ice pop steaming in the afternoon heat. Maybe half an ice pop? Only 75 calories, but still too many calories. Damn Kessa for putting butter on that half piece of toast this morning. She remembered the butter melting on the crunchy piece of bread, and she felt dizzy with fear. Her t-shirt was wet and stuck to her back and ribs. The sweat was pouring down her sides. It felt as if something were creeping down her body.